In this video, we're going to talk about managing users. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have manager or administrator access. If you log in and you do not see a manage tab at the top of the screen, that means you've defaulted to student status in the system and you're going to need to find an administrator to change your access to manager or administrator. So let me show you how you do that. The administrator will sign into the system and then from there they'll go to the manage tab. Hover over manage and select manage users. Now let's take this first individual, Letitia, and you will find that she is listed as a student. Let's say we want to change her access to manager or administrator. We'll click on the blue pencil. We'll click edit user. We'll change her access from student to manager. We'll click save. And now when we go back, we'll see that she's changed to manager status. In this next example, we're going to imagine that a teacher wants to bring 10 students under their management. The way they'll do that is by clicking the user icon with the plus and then entering the usernames that they wish to bring under management in this box and then clicking send invites. In the next case, we'll talk about creating a user group. If we want to add an individual student to a group, we can type in a group name here test group and then select test group. I can add more students to this test group by just entering the words test group in the field beside their name. Now if I wish to filter the users I type in test group up here and now I'll see just the students are in that group. Okay so that's an introduction to user management.